Welcome to Star Fox 64. My favorite game of all time. No, it isn't. But it's up there. It is indeed a very good game. I like how I can't kill him. Wow, I like him. What the fuck? I didn't even get a power up there. Check this out. This is really funny. Look, I'm shooting the fuck out of these guys and they don't die. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, Falco. I saved your ass, bitch. You better be thankful, you motherfucker. Ha! I bombed him right in the face. Everyone knows this shortcut. You go through all these uh, rings and Falco's like, you, you, you proved yourself, bitch. It's time for a little payback, bitch. That's it, Fox. That's it, Fox. I always try to make it a game to see how fast I can shoot him and see how many shots he can get off. Come on, motherfucker. I didn't know you could bomb him! I thought you couldn't! I thought bombs didn't deal damage to him in general. They look like dog mechs. Look at these mechs. Alright, this mission is all about trying to get a hundred... A hundred targets down. And if you don't, you fucked up the point of going through the hard part of this game. Alright, where are they? Come on. This is always such an anxious thing because you have to kill a hundred people in order to keep going. So it's like, God, this is so fucking stressful. <laughs> Stop hitting me. I oh, didn't make that jackpot. Whatever. No, these are my kills. I did it! Now I can go to the worst level in the game, the submarine level. Right immediately, Fal Falco, you get in my fucking way. Seriously? A Gundam dog, why don't you die? He looks like a fucking bird. Wham! I got hit like a billion times, Slippy. Cocky little freak! I don't know how to explain it, but it looks weird. There you go. What kind of response is that? There you go. I guess you're good for something. Oh! Oh! Okay! Oh! Oh! Falco! I will kick you in the shin. Alright, this is the worst level in the entire game, I think. Okay. This level's shitty because you move slow. The enemies are fucking everywhere. You're alone. So you gotta come up with your own wits in order to beat this shit. Oh my god, the screen is so wiggly. I just noticed that too. The screen is very wiggly. This thing will never hold again. I need gold rings. Holy shit. It's a giant ass anglerfish. Up in the deep blue sea. Thanks, Peppy, for giving me that advice. There's torpedoes everywhere. <laughs> that was all just alternating. Man, every game I'm playing so far, all the fucking. All the weapons look like Twizzlers. This thing will never hold together. That's cool. That's cool, bro. You're such a fucking team player, Falco. I hate this level because you have to move at its own pace. Isn't that like every fucking rail shooter ever? Weapon. So you have to shoot these things and you have to constantly dodge their fire. It's like that enemy in Wild Guns. You can't like do shit about it. Also, these pearls get in the way when I try to- You see? When you fire a fucking torpedo, it doesn't do crap. Okay. I know that, Slippy. Shut up. Oh my god, look at all these fucking pearls. Look at all this shit. It, they just keep coming. There we go. Fuck yeah! Okay, this mission is also just as stressful as sec Sector Y. There's an enemy base but it's there. all about the bombs, baby. All right, this is the part I'm talking about. If you don't Let's shoot all, all the searchlights that come in your way, then you have to take the other path. Otherwise, if you do, you can keep going on the hard path. 
basically the fun missions. All about the searchlights, baby. Fuck your birds. Hey, what? Did you see that shit? Like, what the fuck, Slippy? You got in the way. I wonder everyone hates Slippy. I hate him because never the internet hates him. No, I hate him because I legitimately hated him from day one. Not because of some bullshit dude on the internet saying that. The barrel! I thought that was fucking stupid. Ugh! I really hope I got that searchlight. Fuck, man. Give me all the supplies. Enemy tanker! Okay. <laughs> Alright, here's the boss for this place. You don't use your lasers, you use your bomb bomb bombs. He's a sailor in the gross sea, full of bacterial sludge. So here's the gist. He shoots out these balls, and they're bombs, and you have to use these bombs in order to destroy your ship. I bet all of you bitches already know that, but seriously, I don't give a crap what you think. See, and then he goes under here, thinking, oh, what's going on here? No, he's healing himself. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. I lost the wing. God fucking damn it. Come on. Watch out for his bullshit ass, torpedo ass, fucker ass. Look at this. I got him! I got him! Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get! That's what you get! That's what you get for shooting your balls at me! This is like another wide-ranged combat area, and you have to shoot missiles that are coming at uh, the Great Fox. Gee, I've been saved by Fox! How swell! Well, shut up! Fucking Slippy! And fucking Peppy! You don't see Falco complaining. This is really starting to tick me off. Why don't you follow by my father's example? Here we go. This is it. You have to take down all of these missiles that are coming for the Great Fox. And if you miss one, then you're fucked. Where's the missile? Uh, Jesus. And these fuckers are in the way of my view, too. Seriously. Ugh! <laughs> what is with these transmissions? Take care of yourself, fucking Slippy. I don't care. Did you see that? <laughs> Uh. Oh my god, this is clutch. This is fucking clutch! Yeah! Thank you. So many fucking people talking in the same comm link. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Do you see that shit? See? This is good storytelling. You know something happened between her and Falco with just those lines. You don't need fucking over exposition like in most games nowadays. Don't worry, somebody's here. Fuck you. This is general. In the entire game, this is my favorite level. Just because of how hype it is. The boss is eh, but still. Hey Einstein, I'm on your Let's clean up this mess. Hey, what's the big idea? Shut your fucking mouth. You have to shoot down all these flying disc things. Will you get out of the goddamn way? I'm trying to shoot people. They just keep coming and coming and you just keep blasting away, showing how powerful you got throughout these throughout all these levels. Alright, boss is kind of underwhelming too, but whatever.
All right, now to fight Star Wolf. The campaign. Look at this shit, fucking idiots. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. Where they go? You guys don't give up. This can't be happening. There's one more to go. What? This is the fastest I ever took him down. Uh huh. I'll go it alone from here. All right. Boss battle time against Monkey Man. Against Caesar. I think his name is Caesar. I want power ups. It's foolish to come against me. No, it isn't. Now you will feel No, it isn't. Look at this motherfucker. He creeped me out the first time I ever fought him because I'm like, who, who is this guy? Right in the eyes. Take out his hands. Man, get some... Ben, ben Stein, where are you? Give him some eye drops. Wah! And here's the twist! Only I have the brains to rule my life. Ha 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 ha, you're funny. So, Andros, you show your true form. It, this, this, like, freaked me out as a kid, too, because it's like, ew, it's a brain. I don't want to touch it. It's gross. Also, this boss is pretty annoying, too, because it's like, oh my god, eyeballs, and then after you destroy the eyeballs, it's like, oh, he's coming after me. Get back here, eyeball tentacle, uh, tadpole-looking things. They look like tadpoles. Alright, this part's crazy, because you try to shoot him, and he always teleports, but you have to shoot him in the back of his head for the gross brain part here. Otherwise he'll follow you. And it's really annoying too when he follows you. You just have to wait for the right time. You see he tries to follow your ass. Ugh. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Also that creepy laugh gave me nightmares. There we go! That's what you get, brain! That voice, it's so sexy. Father? No, it's Ghost Dad. Is he Ghost Dad from the movie Ghost Dad? I think he is. Follow me, Fox. Are you the Ghost Dad from the movie Ghost Dad? I think he is. Trust your instincts. Oh, that's great story development. Because Peppy says that. Because Peppy was like his father was like a mentor to Peppy, and now Peppy's a mentor to Fox, his son. Boom! I did it. I beat Star Fox on hard. I don't care if I lost anybody. I did it. Fuck you all. And so, we end the journey of Fox McCloud and his partners in order to destroy the evil Andros. It's such a mystical and magical journey through the stars. N64 has graphics. But still, it was one of the best games I've ever played and one of the best N64 games, period. And voice acting in it! And cool laser blasts! How can you deny its greatness? <laughs> I'm so mature.